Why not? There you go. I say it, he's going to think it's for him. Tonight is all for the dogs because this game is about the greatest canine classics of all time. I mean, they're so cute. They should have called them K-10. That's right. But I'm, shh, you got Don't work like a... Before we get into the rules, I got to shout out and thank Zest for all... Here, we'll redirect you straight to the discount so you can keep your bestie feeling zesty. Like my bestie right here. Don't miss out on it. What's that? Oh, he wants to go see you. He wants to check out the site. He's ready for it. <laughs> All right, let's get into the game because I see you scratching for attention. So I am going to throw 12 trivia tennis balls into the yard. And if you fetch... I hope you've been studying. Tell me, do you have a favorite? I want to know your favorite dog movie in the chat. Bobby Flay is curious. He said right now he's going to go actually read the chat and find out what your favorite dog movie is. And who knows? Maybe it'll show up in the game if he decides to put it in. Okay, here you go. Okay, you can go read the chat. That's fine. <laughs> and since we got dogs on the brain, dogs in the studio, hey, we want to shout out an amazing charity helping both dogs and cats. We see you. We love you too. All over the country, it's Best Friends Animal Society fighting to end the mistreatment of dogs and cats in America's shelters. Far too many animals lose their lives every year simply because they have no place to call home. Best, Best Friends is leading no-kill efforts around the country with a goal of ending unnecessary animal death in shelters by 2025. Oh, look at those puppies. Through their regional programs around the country, they promote pet adoption over buying, as well as spaying and neutering, all while operating America's largest no-kill sanctuary for companion animals. It's beautiful. I love it. We are so into that at HQ, obviously. We've got dogs here all the time. We are matching tonight's prize money to donate $5,000 to Best Friends. And here's what one of their superstars, Nathan, sent us today. Check this out. Hi everybody in HQ Trivia Land. My name is Nathan Meeson with Best Friends Animal Society and I'm here with Lex. Thank you for being a part of tonight's event to raise money for Best Friends Animal Society. We're a national leading animal welfare organization dedicated to ending the killing of pets in America's shelters. We own and operate the nation's largest no-kill sanctuary and operate adoption centers across the country. You can learn more about us, join our mission, volunteer, donate, um, find a pet for adoption at bestfriends.org. Thank you again to HQ Trivia and everybody out there playing. Good luck and have a great night. Thank you so much, Nathan. And you can indeed visit them at bestfriends.org. And since they have a database of adoptable pets that can connect you with a life worth saving, why wouldn't you? It's the best thing to ever happen, especially in quarantine. Also, we want to thank our friends at Tribeca Film for all of the support they've shown us and for their summer project of bringing back drive-in movies. We hear everyone's had a great time, and we congratulate them on such an awesome event. I went to a drive-in last night, by foot, but it still rocks, I promise. <laughs> All right, I'm so excited to get this game started in just a second. Bobby Flay is ready. He's reading all of it right now. I mean, think about all of those great dog movies. I see, I see what you put in the chat. I know you've watched plenty of them. All you need to do right now is roll over those memories, hey, hey, and you'll go the distance. Are you ready for this? Are we ready to kick this game off? Here we go with question number one. In a 1989 animated film's title, how many dogs go to heaven? None, few, or all? You don't want to depress dog lovers while they're still looking at the poster. Tell them what we already know, okay? All dogs go to heaven. All is the answer. If you said none, I question, I question your heart. 67,796, you got it right. All 67,000 of you got it right. You know, if you didn't get it right, we're still here for you. You can still come in. This is heaven right now. I'm in heaven right now. And just so you know, All Dogs was lukewarm at the box office, but went on to be one of the biggest VHS sellers ever. 
ever. Do you remember what a VHS is? If you do, throw that grandma emoji in the chat for me. Come on, let's celebrate the VHS that a lot of you probably don't even know. But we're moving on to Q2. Who played Cruella de Vil in two live action Dalmatians films? Glenn Close, Courtney Cox, or Joan Cusack? It's spelled like devil, not Coupe de Vil, which is what you get when you steal puppies in a Disney flick, like Glenn Close did twice. There she is, Glenn Close as Cruella de Vil. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Woo, 63,005, got it right. You go, Glenn Cloco. Hey, come on, you gotta love it. And also a new live action Cruella movie is supposed to be coming out. I'm so excited for this. But it was also first announced in 2011. So who knows, fingers crossed, right? Also, thank you to Nuvi for those amazing photos of Glenn Close as Cruella. I mean, I'd love For three. Wax it up, seventh inning fetch, treasure buddies. Have adventures for every holiday and even go to space. They strangely never did a swimming or track and field movie called Laps It Up, though. Laps it up. That's the answer. Woo! 48,154. You ran through the laps. You got it right. You went through. And if you didn't make it around the track and field that time, that's okay. Buy that extra life. Use that extra life. Hang out with us. It's a dog game, right? I mean, imagine how many wet dog jokes they could have used if it was laps it up, right? You know what happens to a wet dog? It stepped in a poodle. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Bobby Flay the Poodle is, he's rolling his eyes right now. He's like, I can't believe you're my owner. Why would you, what, a, po a poodle, a puddle joke? Come on. All right, Q4. <laughs> it took a reported 22 yellow Labradors to play which movie dog? Marley, Otis, or Shiloh? Come on. Right, right. Otis isn't a lab. Well, this is no toughie. I if you really know, know your dog movies, the only yellow lab here is Marley and me. No, just Marley. 47,507. You got it right. You true fans know that Otis is a pug, Shiloh is a beagle, but Marley is the yellow lab that made us all cry. Now I need a treat, okay? When I think about that movie, it's sad. It's sad. Marley and me, okay, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. Dogs are happy. Okay, Q5. Which director made a stop-motion dog feature film? Lynn Ramsey, Richard Linklater, or Tim Burton? Okay. Would it help if we said it was a remake? Hmm? Burton's well, that's because Tim Burton remade his live-action short Frankenweenie with puppets. Mm -hmm. Frankenweenie, he has such a little tiny nose. That is the answer. Tim Burton is the answer. I'm sorry, but he did Frankenweenie. 43,552. We got a lot of dog lovers in here tonight. None of these are savage at all, even savage borderline or anything. Linklater probably would have shot a movie over 20 years, right? I can't imagine how many dogs he would need for that kind of production. But I'll tell you this, Linklater, if you're going to do a dog movie, you better call it Doghood. <laughs> Thank you. The, the, the band is losing their mind. The drums are just punch everything. Okay. Moving on to Q6. What breed of dog is Lassie? Bohemian Shepherd, Rough Collie, or Swedish Valhalla? Now, these are all herding breeds, but say it with me, dog lovers. Lassie is a collie, a beautiful collie, too. The paw up, oh, it's so regal. Lassie is a collie. That is the answer. Rough collie. 43,460. You got it right. You solved it. I'm so proud of you. So is Lassie. It's been a while since we've seen new Lassie media, but the original TV series, get this, ran almost 600 episodes. That's over three decades. Lassie is literally the hardest working dog in Hollywood. But that's why they're always asking him to come home. Hey, Lassie. set today. No. Could solve his own murder. Dan Aykroyd, Chevy Chase, Joe Piscopo. All of these guys made supernatural comedies in the 80s. 
but it was 1980s Oh Heavenly Dog that starred Chevy Chase. If you Wait a minute, this. those are animals. I'm not going back as an animal. And now, hello, he's back. There you go. I'm sorry. You wanted to see him. I wanted to see him too. Chevy Chase is the answer in Oh Heavenly Dog 37,882. Chase the right answer on that. Oh Heavenly Dog was a weird side film in the Benji series, co starring the daughter of the original Benji. And I have a question for you. If you could be reincarnated as a dog, tell me what breed you would be. I want to know in the chat. I'm th Why she ask what dog you'd be and people put in the lion? <laughs> <laughs> Little legs, good ears. Good choice, honestly. Would love to meet you in a dog park someday when we come back as dogs. Moving on to question number eight. Who does not voice one of the dogs in Beverly Hills Chihuahua? Andy Garcia, George Lopez, Cheech Marin. I got my This is tricky. All three of these guys do voiceover work in the film, but Cheech is Manuel the Rat, not any of the dogs. Cheech Marin is the answer. 13,000. Oh my God, it's a savage question. It's a savage question. You know what's happening right now? A dog is peeing somewhere it shouldn't be. That's what happens on a savage question in this game tonight. Wow. We lost tw almost 24,000 players on that one. That was a tough one. But hey, we're only at Q8. You can still come back into the game. Use that extra life, baby. Hang out with me and all these dogs. Wait till you see all of them. <laughs> It's going to be so much fun. But we're moving on right now to question number nine. Who played Old Yeller's original owner? James Arnest, Chuck Connors, Darren McGavin. These are three great old Western actors. Even if you know Darren best from A Christmas Story. But Old Yeller first belonged to Mr. Sanderson, played by Chuck Connors. Chuck Connors, hope you got it right. Oh, no, I was kind of savage, too. 9,391 got it right on Chuck Connors, an old one. You know, it is. I hope one day that, that when there's a trivia question, you know, about me as a dog owner, because I am one, and that's a nice claim to fame, Chuck Connors. 9,391, you're moving on to Q10. Here we go. What movie dog does not have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Rin Tin Tin, Scooby Doo, or Snoopy? Although Bill Hanna and Joe Barbera share a star, none of their characters, not even the very famous Scooby Doo, are so honored. Scooby Doo, can you believe this? 8,369. You got it right. You answered correctly. Guess what? Rin Tin Tin got a star in 1960. Snoopy got a star like five years ago. I think it's time we petition for Scooby-Doo to have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Come on. He's like our favorite dog. I love Scooby-Doo. Right? You agree with me? All right. We're almost there. We're almost at the end of this. We're moving on to Q11. Which of these acclaimed dog movies is a documentary? My Dog Tulip, Pick of the Litter, Umberto D. critical praise for all three of these but the documentary about training puppies to be guide dogs is pick of the litter did you pick the right answer oh 4227 this game got tough right you know it was all fetching for easy answers in the beginning and now it's a little trickier 4, Alexa, what time does Los Angeles close? Los Angeles Center Highway in Los Angeles is open today from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. However, due to current health and safety measures, hours may be different. Do you want to call them? No, thank you. Okay. I think the whole game froze because I'm seeing a lot of people put froze in the chat. Yeah, froze for me. Schlotsky's near me. 